Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 on PS4. This is day 138. I've noticed that uh, it's been a long time since I played this since February of 2022. It's now July 2022. And so I'm a little bit lost. I took a few minutes here in the beginning to get my bearing so to speak so I'm kind of a little bit um, trying to figure out what I was doing which I figured out that I was still just grinding and uh, working jobs contracts if you look I only have two I don't even have 200 and or I, I'm just under 300k which on this game is or in real life if you're a farmer is not a lot of money so I'm still a poor uh farmer with uh, limited skills and abilities and resources I think I'm still trying to get my bearings here I'm looking at the map trying to figure out if I still have I think I have all my crops off the fields pretty sure and it's nighttime anyway I hate working at night it's hard to see even though you have vehicles with lights on them and stuff, it's not the same. So here's the contracts page. These transporting missions are, um, I still think, really desirable because they don't um, require, I mean, I already have a forklift. Maybe I should upgrade. I don't want to see there's other people that gave me ideas to, like, use a low loader or, you know, uh, a different vehicle to transport stuff, but the point of my point of the the game is for me to buy land, and so yeah, I might save some money there, but then I'm just spending money that I should be buying land with on equipment. You know that it's not that's not the whole point of my my gameplay here. So it would set me backwards, I think, even though it'd be it'd make the missions a lot easier. And there has has been a few times where I. Um, use the train to transport pallets, and it seems like it never really works out. Makes it's more complicated. So here's a tr the transport mission for twelve hundred dollars, roughly, and we're gonna select that. And our forklift is all the way up here, which is actually a, see that red dot. That's our delivery point. So we need to go to the yellow dot on the map. And I can't, I forgot what it said. We got to go to the water tower and bring the pallets, which I don't know how many there are. I didn't know how many there are at this point. So we have to bring the pallets back to the transportation company where we just were. And hopefully there's, I'm, you know, I'm thinking that, uh, that hopefully there's just two pallets or three or one, but there's never one. But sometimes there's like six pallets. That'd be too many to travel all the way across the map at 15 miles an hour. So I sped up this video to save some time. And I stop it right here because I kind of thought it was funny. I take a tumble. See, there's the water tower right there. But I forgot there's a hill here. So I like do a barrel roll in the forklift, land on my wheels. <laughs> Made it through just fine. So, um, I'm not sure exactly where these pallets are by the water tower, so I'm kind of looking for them a little bit. I know I have to get over these tracks. So I keep my forks raised a little bit so that they don't get hung up on the tracks or anything down low. So I'm looking around for these pallets. I'm not seeing them. There, I see them back there. There's only two, which is good. That means we can stack them up. We still have to drive careful. We wouldn't be driving back the same way we came because it's way too rough. So when these pallets are stacked up, um, one on top of the other, they're kind of not, I wouldn't say slippery, but they're not fastened down. And they're, as you can see, they're not like square, like they're not boxes. So they don't really rest 
on each other the way they ought to. So um, I'm going to try it anyway. If we stay on a nice level road, you know, like a main highway uh, that's not too windy or um, anything like that, no obstacles, we should be able to make it all the way back. I mean, it might be uh, a long way around, but if we can just not drop them, we won't have to make two trips. Because there has been some, if you go back to some of these other videos, where I uh, think I'm going to take a shortcut or do something the easy way, or it seems like an easier way, uh, and it ends up taking like twice as long or four times as long than if I just had made multiple trips or taking a different route or taking, you know, slower is faster sometimes. So what time is it now? It's like 5, five almost 5.30 in the morning. So um, we might see the sun come up here. It should be less dark soon. So I'm just going to take my time here. Um, these seem like they're pretty stable. But I'm not going to make any sudden movements regardless. Try and squeeze through here. This is kind of a rough uh, path, but uh, if we go slow, we'll be okay. I sped the video up here a little bit. I tilt the tilt the load back so it's more stable. So we're only traveling at 15 miles an hour. It looks faster on this video because it's sped up, but um, this mission actually, or this video original length was like 23 minutes. So, uh, you know, on this game, that's not a lot of time. But if you're on an, uh, if you're playing Super Mario Brothers, you can be halfway through the game in 23 minutes on Nintendo. So, um, looks like we're gaining a little bit of daylight. So, uh, after, if we'll see what the daylight is after this mission. In the next video, we might be doing some actual, uh, some either some different work or maybe, you know, like cutting wood or, uh, maybe a different contract, whether there's weeding or, cultivating or planting or something I don't know we'll see but here's the drop zone right here I gotta get both these pallets on the ground tilt it down put the forks down there we go and I got credit because this what this second one was just barely touching the ground so I laid them both on there flat anyway so um, that's pretty much it for this video we got to collect our money don't we it's nice doing these transport missions because there's no costs, there's no fees. You don't have to rent anything. You don't have to buy any seed or fertilizer or anything like that. So they're simple. They don't pay out as well, but they're still, I mean, it's 100% profit. Minus some gasoline, of course. So our payout is 1200 roughly. This was a pretty good video to get back in the groove of things. I'm going to try and make more of these videos. And I try and keep my videos short too because I know everyone's time is precious. And uh, there's no, it's just kind of a slow paced game. So to play them at, at normal speed is, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say a waste of time, but unnecessary. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.